for another guy just because he's got more than my guy because trust and believe if i if i like you if i love you it's because i see your greatness i couldn't give a shit if you was a street cleaner at that time i see your greatness that's why i'm with you i see the king in you let's get back to this video real quick i want to break some of this down hey 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 peace what's up i divorced my husband why did i divorce my husband well, let us know i divorced my husband because i was making a certain amount of money i divorced my we already know statistically that 90 percent uh, that 80 percent of divorce is initiated by women if that woman is college educated or comes into money it goes up to 90 percent soon as she thinks she's better than you she's gone she is gone because she loses respect for that man husband because I thought I didn't need him anymore. Yep, I divorced my husband because I had this senior position at work and thought I held the same position at home. So there we go. Another one. See, they will act a certain way for the job. She can get a new job. She might pass away alone because women now put more stock on money. The love for the love of money is the root of all evil. Modern women today love, love some money. They love things and we see it. We see the results of it. So they get a little clout at work. They raise up a little bit at work and they equate that to that they are better than you as a man, that she can talk to you as a man any kind of way. This is what society tells them. She's stronger than you because they know you ain't going to do nothing like that. And most men aren't. But why do I bring that up? Because they've gotten so comfortable in this society nowadays that they equate the power that they have with being better than you. Whereas if everything just went to crap today, there was no electricity and we got put back in the stone ages, women would automatically go back down to the bottom. They would. And that's not saying that not all would be able to survive, but we were talking about when anarchy is going on, you're gonna look for a strong man. You're gonna look for a man that can survive, but it is the comforts of modern day society that has women feeling this way. Let's get back to it. I divorced my husband because I thought I was better than him because I had my degree now. I want you guys to really think about it. These women have been pushed to get their degrees. Think about back, go back to the early 2000s. Everybody was pushed to go to college because that was the only way to get a job. And if you think right before the financial crash, look at that, look at the news articles around that time. People, men particularly were getting out of college and they couldn't find jobs. Women too, but men really couldn't find jobs because jobs then were still, were starting to try to get more diverse. But men were getting out of college and could not get a job. So men said, F this, look past post 2008, 2009. Then you start to see the decline in men going get their college degrees. We were all sold that lie that if you got your college degree, you would be able to make something of yourself and be better for your family. And in some degrees, it still works. But what you saw was a decline in the enrollment in college by men. And what you start to see was a subsequent increase in the enrollment of trade schools with men. Cause men started to realize that if I have the skills necessary, then I can go anywhere and do this stuff. That piece of paper that these women are going and get and think they're better than you, I don't mean worth nothing. So these women are, are now, they dominate the college campuses in terms of numbers. And if a woman gets a college degree, she's more likely to leave you if you don't have the same or higher education as she do, or if she doesn't perceive you to be as intelligent as she is. We know as a man, nobody gives a damn about us. If we don't put the mechanisms in place for us to succeed long-term, no one gives a damn about us. We'll be on the streets. So we have to actually think long-term. One of my favorite sayings ever, and I'm gonna share this with you guys, but it's one of my core philosophies. And it was said by Denzel Washington, AKA Lonzo and Training Day. This shit is chestnut checkers. And that's why it's important for men to be on their purpose. I divorced my husband because I thought a successful marriage meant I was here and he was down here. That is not success. No, it's not success. So who is telling these women that she being here over her man means that success when it comes to family and relationships? Who is telling women that? Listen to television and let them tell you. It's being put in all these generations because they're losing a grip on power. It's a divide and conquer strategy and it's working. It's working. They don't wanna have to provide for the family to be all right. This is one of the lies, but yet and still, this woman wouldn't be willing to, to take her money. She believes in that, right? She believes if she's here and the man is here, then that's success. But these same women aren't willing to provide for a man, are they? No, absolutely not. 
they're not willing to provide for a man like a man is willing to provide for the rest of his life for their family. They are not and will not and do not intend to. That is not a part of their purpose. But your purpose as a man is to make sure that your family has. But let's continue. That's fucking sickness. <laughs> I found myself divorced and out there looking for love in all the wrong places. Fucking this one and that one and that one and that one and this one and that one. And my body count going up and my value going down. Women today don't understand that. Women today, either they don't understand or they don't care. I think it's a little bit of both. So here it is. She's telling you she got divorced. What was the first thing she did? She went back on the carousel again. This one, that one, and this one, and this one. Numbers were going up and her value was going down. This woman gets it. As a man, we do not want women who have high body counts. That tells me or tells a man, you are gonna be more likely to have an offspring that may not be mine because of your pers promiscuous nature. You have more of a chance that I will take care of someone else's kid. There is more of a chance that you're gonna get bored and you're gonna cheat on me. There is more of a chance that when this isn't working out for you, you're gonna leave. You're not gonna stick around. This is why men do not, for a long-term option, not wanna be with women with high body counts because you provide no value to that man other than a good lay. I'm just gonna call it like a TI is. All the while, my husband done found somebody else building a, a relationship and building a life with them. There's a very important point right here that I want you guys to get and I want you guys to understand. When we go through it, when we've had our heart kicked in and crushed and we finally say, you know what, I'm done with this crap. Women wonder why men end up, mm, she don't look like me. Mm -mm. She don't, she ain't pretty, she ain't all that. Maybe I found somebody who's more in line with my program and my purpose. Maybe I found someone that I don't have to worry about in terms of getting femininity, not conditional femininity, but real femininity. Maybe I found somebody who is willing to get on my program. Maybe I found a woman just got a little bit more peace that she gives me. Maybe I found a woman who could just give me a little bit more time, who, who, who I come home to and there's no, there's no warring, there's no battling. She's not fighting me. She respects me and she respects herself enough to not do anything that would bring harm or reproach to me. So sometimes men will, will talk to women that they feel are less, but they get so much more because that woman provides real value not this fake ass value. And he will go out and he, and it was, why is he giving her so much more than me? Because she understands the real value. She understands what she really brings to the table and actually brings something that is tangible that will help aid and benefit that man on his purpose and on his journey. And the women who don't get this, they end up alone.